Hello. Today we're going to discuss a couple of different relays that we have in our lessons, namely in lesson 406. The two relays that we're going to talk about today are the off delay relay and the one shot relay. The one that I have right now available to me is this time delay relay. Let's look at it. Uh, and it is an off delay. If you look at the bottom right here, it says off delay. And the timing range is 1.1 seconds to 10 seconds, rated at a quarter horsepower, 10 amps, 120 volt AC. So the quarter amps tells you about how much in 10 amps or quarter horsepower, 10 amps tells you how much the context can uh, withstand. And 120 volts is the um, operating voltage for the coil. Also right here, it says input is 120 volts. And again, when you see that, that's the coil voltage, 50 to 60 hertz, time delay relay. So I'm missing the knob on this one, but you can see the 0.1 to 10 seconds um, on the top of the relay. So the thing about, 11, uh, about a off delay relay is it has an 11 pin base and you can see that in the light. Okay, let's look at the sequence of operation that we're going to try to uh, do here. So this is from, um, again, 406-7. So this application number four is what we're looking at. So, you know, once again, you really need to pay attention here to the pinout for these timing relays. And if you remember, on the off delay, we do use an external switch to begin the process. And this is the difference between the on delay interval um, and recycle timers. The off delay and the one shot have this external switch in order to make this thing work. All right, let's look at the some of the stuff it's telling. So do not ex uh, connect power to the external switch. So if you do this, if you put any kind of voltage on here, and you're going to blow up this relay. Okay. So basically, here's a, another uh, look at the external switch as far as the ladder diagram goes. Okay, diagram goes. So it says for the off delay relays, the time period begins when the external switch is open. So again, the time period begins when the external switch is open, not closed when it's open. So when this closes, and then it's opened. That's when the time, uh, the time period starts. Okay. The contacts revert to normal states after the time period has expired. The contacts revert to normal states when the coil power is removed. So let's look at this. So switch one is basically just we bring our power to this. Okay. We're closing, uh, or we, we've applied voltage to the coil. The coil is energized, and these will change stay here. Okay. But this is this is what goes on here. So we have a normally open timed open. Okay, so normally open. We have a normally closed time close. Now here they use R and G. I'm going to use on, on this yellow and blue. That's what I had available. So you could see this right here talks about the external switch. What I'm using for an external switch here is this thing. This is a limit switch. And we engage this by this um, rolling switch right here. If you follow this yellow and orange back, it goes to, um, just like it says over here, pins five and six on my base. Okay? And again, my setup here is, one is for my normally open, uh, timed open, one's for normally closed, time closed. And this is 120 volts. I'm not using the 24 volt here. 120 volts, 120 volt bus, neutral bus, and then switch legs, and then my external switch. So let's go ahead and plug in our um, timing relay, and let's go ahead and set it for 10 seconds. So I'm just turning that all the way up. And again, I'm putting this on with no power applied. And again, if you look at this, you'll see this has a key. It has a little thing that protrudes from the center post which is your key, so it only goes on to this base one way. So I'm going to turn on power, 
And just like the diagram shows you, okay, my switch isn't on yet, but if I'm looking at my diagram, okay, even with switch one closed or open, it says my green light. Well, I'm using a blue light in this case. And that's my normally closed, timed closed. Okay? Now, if you see my yellow, which would be the red here, would be under my normally open, timed open, my normally open contacts. Okay? So right now, it's pretty much following that, um, this uh, procedure. Now, I haven't closed S1. This is S1 here. So let's energize the coil. Now, if I energize the coil right here, I shouldn't change states of my lights. I turn the switch on. Sure enough, I haven't changed states of these two lights. Okay, so if we close this external switch, and again, this remember what this says. It says the time period begins when the external switch is opened. So I haven't closed or opened the switch. I'm going to close the switch. Okay and then open. And you'll see after about 10 seconds that light will go off. And there you go. So once again, let's see if this, this is true. So if I close, if it says that when I close this switch, this light will change state. The light that was off will go on. Then when I release the switch, Right here, that's where the time period is, right? The 10 seconds, it's going to stay on until after the 10 seconds, and then it'll extinguish or go off, and these contacts will change back to their original state. So, click, it's on, and I can keep that thing on forever, but as soon as I let it go, see 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 7, 8, 9, 10, should it, there you go, it shut off, and it goes back to its original state. The next relay we're going to talk about is the one shot, and you can see this is the cut sheet for it, the one shot from our lesson, and we're on 406-8. Now, you may have noticed in the last video, I'm not using this exact type of relay, I don't have that on hand, however, I do have a uh, relay that is I can configure for a one-shot. So what's the difference between the one-shot and the off-delay? They both have an external switch. They both use the external switch. And again, it just reminds you, don't connect power to that external switch. It's just the close, open contact, dry contact. Now, it, this is a little different. If you remember from your um, off-delay, it said context change state when the external switch is, is opened. And this one says context change states when the external switch is closed. Okay, so off delay, it changes states after the opening of the switch on the one shot when the switch is closed. So let's see what else it says here. So for the off delay relays and for the one shots, it says the time period begins when the external switch is closed. It should say for one shot relays. Okay, the contacts revert to normal states after the time period is expired and the contacts revert to normal states when the coil power is removed. And again, here's, you know, where it shows you here, uh, switch one is open here. When the coil is energized, okay, again, this is your starting states, normally open, timed open, normally closed, time closed. When your external switch is closed, okay, the time period starts and after that time period is expired, that light's going to go out. Okay. This, again, headed for 11 seconds. We're going to see what we can do here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use our mono, I'm sorry, our multifunction relay. And our multifunction relay I've used in videos before here. And again, what's so great about these is they, you can configure them for many different things. Hence the name multifunction. So, we're going to look over here for a one shot, okay, um, well it says one shot falling edge or one shot relay here. Let's just go for the one shot relay. We don't need to worry about falling edge right now. Okay, let's make this, yeah, let's make it 10 seconds.
and the S for, for seconds, okay? So this should be a one shot, 10 second relay. And again, it being a multi-function, it's gonna have 11 pin base on this. And let's go ahead and plug it in again. No power is applied here. I'm gonna turn the power on now. And our, uh, let's see if this follows it. You can see the blue light is on. That would be my normally closed, timed closed one, right? Okay, so the yellow light is extinguished. That stands for my red one here. Okay, so let's close this external switch, see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna keep that on there. You'll see that the relay starts blinking here. And you can see after that 10 seconds, that shut off. Okay, so once again, let's, let's do this again. This time, pay attention to this LED that blinks. Okay, so right here we're going to close the switch and the time is going to begin. And you can see it start blinking there. And after t approximately 10 seconds, that light's going to go out and reverts back to the normal state. Now I release the switch and I'm going to stay in that state. Sure enough, this follows just like it's supposed to.